Kit Zero Survival here, and today I'm going to show you the Grim Workshop cards that I have. So let's go over the storage methods for them first, real quick, just to get you familiar with what we're doing here. So as you can see, these are little EDC cards that do different things. This one right here is for lures, there's some for sewing, some for lock picking, all different kinds of options that you can get. And make sure to check out the affiliate link in the description below if you decide you want to pick up one of these. So you can store them in an Altoids tank because they are credit card sized. Some people put them in their wallets. I usually like to have a specific container for them. You've seen me use Altoids tins for other things such as entire survival kits and a very specific kit that's just my fire tender and ways to start a fire, which you can actually find in the link here in the top right corner. So I put a couple in there just to show you. These are some of the more popular ones. Forgive the glare, these are very, very reflective. So this is one that's actually designed by Zachary Fowler and it has some fun stuff in it. It's got a little spear tip that you can use for either fishing or technically for frogs, but usually you need something a little wider for them. It has a little awl in here and this can also be used as a tick remover. So what you do is you slide this part over the tick and then you can use it to unscrew the tick. It's got his signature on it. Now keep in mind, these do not come sharpened. You have to put your own edge on them. So most people don't realize that when they buy these. So just be forewarned that you'll have to have a knife sharpener in order to get them sharp. It comes with a few other things such as fishing lures, a few different types of hooks, and some trap triggers. So the way the cards work is you just simply peel off one of these little guys right here. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Okay, I got the camera refocused. This is actually a really cool style lure because it's very shiny and with the way it's cut, all it does is spin in the water. I just run my line through one hole and then through the other. And it actually works. I actually played around with these on a camping trip a while back before I even started this YouTube channel and it works just fine. I caught things with the hooks on it and I also played around with the knife a little bit. I haven't had to spare anything and I don't have a trapping license so I can't really practice with the trap triggers but I am able to fish and it worked quite well. So I actually like the Grim style setup for fishing cars. It just has a fun little way of doing a pocket fishing kit. There's a billion ways you can do fishing kits and that's something that I love about them is that they're so compact and that you can just do all kinds of fun things. And when you're done using it, all you do is you just put it right back on the little spot here and it'll be sticky still. See? And there's a million different cards to choose from. We're going to go over a few more and how I store them. So the way these trap triggers work, I'm not going to show you a video on those because like I said, I don't have a trapping license, so I haven't really practiced with those, but basically they hook into each other like that. And then when the bait string is pulled, it pulls one off and then the tree branch springs up and you've got your snare set. So I've played around with lock picking in my spare time just for fun to see if I could do it kind of like solving a puzzle and I've been able to pick a few locks and it's actually very rewarding and very fun. It gives you something to do with your hands and something to focus on if you need to. It's actually thoroughly relaxing. So it's kind of fun to have a pocket size kit that you can just play with if you've got some free time and you need to do something with your hands or while you're watching TV just to see if you can manage to pick a lock. Of course, obviously follow all laws. Don't be going into other people's apartments or things like that. That's just not a good idea. Now this bright fellow is something really fun. All of these are different lures that fish actually go for. I've used a few of them, particularly this little guy because I usually go for the smaller fish in my area. They went right for it. No issues. I was actually super surprised at how well it worked and how well they went for it. There's all different kinds of colors for whatever you're trying to do, but I've played around with this bottom one and this one the top the most because that's what the fish in my area seem to like. And I'll peel one off for you because see it's actually on both sides. And as usual, you can poke out the little holes and thread through your line however you want. Put it on a spinner or a swivel or what have you. And then pop it right back in when you're done. I think this is one of their best cards because it's just so simple, so easy, and works very well. And I really like the way their fishing stuff is done. I mean, the knives and stuff are fine, but usually I prefer a belt knife or a pocket knife personally but these will still work for light tasks because that's what they are for. They're not like for batoning or things like that, but sharpen them up and do light tasks and you can actually build an entire fishing kit out of the Grim cards with their knives and other things and it's really cool. This here on the back will peel off. I've never needed to peel it off because I don't want to stick it anywhere, but you could just simply, you know, put it on something and make it stick to it. If you wanted to say, put it in your Altoids tin a little bit differently and just secure it directly to the inside. I prefer to just keep it as a credit card size little piece of plastic and then I pull out the fishing lures when I want to. 
Now this is a little watertight container I got from Bass Pro for like $5 one day. At first I was thinking maybe of using it for something else, but I decided that since it fits these really well, I can go ahead and use it for those. So you can even make a little necklace kit that fits several Grim cards. So as you can see, they cover all kinds of stuff. This is a net shuttle, has a little arrowhead tip, probably good for a small game like Rabbit's Hat, I would imagine. A little sewing needle, which is actually pretty useful. I see more hooks and lures. And this little bait pin and deadfall. I haven't really done much with it. I played around with it in the living room just to see if I could get it to work. And surprisingly, it actually works pretty well. Now, deadfalls are a little bit tricky to use, especially when you're first starting out. So make sure to be very careful and make sure that you're following any laws related to trapping in your area. And don't smash your hand because that hurts. So it's also got a stitching haul as well as other styles of hooks. And these are very, very sharp. Let me show you. See how sharp that was? Barely touch it and it hooks right into your skin. Now barely put any pressure on it. So I have these, these as well for fishing and it was pretty fun. So if you're into pocket fishing kits, definitely check these guys out. That's what I like to use them for the most because, well, I like to go fishing. It's very, very relaxing after a long day of work to just stop by the pond, go for an hour or two before sunset, see if I can catch some bluegill or pumpkin seeds or things like that. This is a bit of an older setup of mine, but you've seen stuff like this before. These little rubber wallets you can use for your credit cards. I just put a few of these in there. And now these were ones that I put a little bit of extra stuff on. The ranger band to hold them together to make absolutely sure they stay put. But I also wrapped some fishing line around them. So I'd be able to go fishing. So like I said, that's why I like to use them for the most. And I've tried out like, I don't know, six or seven different types of cards. And I just want to show a few of them here. I really like the fact that you can just wrap fishing line around them. Keep in mind, they do have a fishing line card. I just haven't tried it out yet because I just haven't gotten around to buying one. Okay, next up we have the Wayne Russell card. Pretty good little knife. We got this for kind of like a gig spear. Like I mentioned before, it's good for frogs, things like that. Various hooks. You'll see that most of these have hooks on them because, well, it's a really good way to carry around a bunch of fishing hooks without worrying about them poking you in the pocket. Some more trap triggers, hooks, and needles in this one. It's pretty fun. I sharpened that knife pretty decently sharp. It just took me a while. So we've got the Bob Hansler card. So he's got a fun stuff in here. He's got a little hook sharpener. It's got a little saw, a serrated and fine edge knife. So that's interesting to have both in one. That's kind of cool. I like his lures and stuff as well. It's pretty much the same as Fowler's, but there's, you know, a couple bigger ones, which are nice when you're going after bigger fish and lots of hooks. Cause you're definitely going to want to pack more than one hook. Curved suture sewing needles. I uh, wouldn't really recommend giving yourself sutures unless you truly know what you're doing because otherwise you're likely to get an infection and die. But they're also good for repairing gear like a belt or say a backpack strap or things like that because the curve of them makes it a little bit easier to just put in and grab. And you got some straight sewing needles as well too. And you can always wrap some sewing cordage around here or some micro cord or things like that. And believe it or not with these style of lures I've actually fit a micro cord through there and went fishing with micro cord as the line. It was black micro cord and the fish had no problems with it. They actually even bit the line itself a few times wondering what it was thinking. I guess they thought it was a big black worm. I'm not sure. The fish can even see colors but they went after the line itself and also a few more were going after the lure at the same time. It was pretty funny because it was springtime so there were plenty of fish around. And we got the one from Monia. She was on alone as well. She did a lot of cool stuff and she's pretty much the master of skinning and making jackets and other leather things out of animals and just exceptionally knowledgeable person. I've never met them, but from what I've seen of their YouTube videos and their time on alone, they have top-notch skills, like super, super good at everything they do. And like I say, creativity is a survival skill and you're going to need creativity to use these smaller cards for bigger tasks. Now granted, they're not meant for that because like I said, you're not going to baton them with the little knives in here because it would break them. But they are good for a lot of things and you know, Oh, you can use a little knife even for a little bit of light skinning or flaying of a fish. You can use the, what is this here? Loving connection is a survival skill. Also important because you want to be happy when you're out there. Mental fortitude is a big game changer as well. I believe they mentioned this was for uh, scraping the hide if I recall. I'm not very good at making things with leather. I've never actually skinned an animal before. That's a skill I'm trying to work on, but first I gotta get my hunting license. This is kind of a leather working card, so you could use this needle right here that's got that bend in it to give yourself a better hold and get through thicker leather so you can 
hunt the animal, skin the animal, scrape the leather, this little saw for anything you need the saw for. I'm not sure all the details on leather making. And it's even got a lot of fish hooks. One, two, three different sizes. Now some of the other cards have more hooks, but these are some different shapes and unique sizes. And it's a pretty cool card. Now it's a little bit beyond my skill level to be honest, but I still think it's really handy to have and it just gives you one more thin knife that you can use for very, very fine tasks. These are their pocket sharpeners. So it's basically kind of like super fine sandpaper that you can use to hone your knife. Now, granted, I prefer a more traditional credit card size sharpener like those Sharpow ones that I've shown you before, but these will do well in a pinch. You can substitute these for the Sharpow ones that I've put the link to in the top right corner for that video I did on those because those are very high quality credit card size sharpeners that just do a top notch job and I highly recommend them. These will work well in a pinch, but Sharp House kind of got them beat there. So I think all my viewers will have fun with these kind of cards and just quick impromptu fishing trip with what you got in your pocket. As always, comment below with what you like to see in this channel so I can make the kind of videos that you guys are looking for. And until next time, keep moving. Hi, Kit Zero here. Hope you loved that video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed by hitting this button here and then hitting the bell icon so you get notified of new videos. You can also check out these videos here for recommendations and to see what else I'm up to. And as always, comment below with what you like about this video and what you'd like to see on the channel. And until next time, keep moving.